Well, my path through STEM, it uh, really started early with me. Uh, in West Virginia, Charleston is the capital city, but it's still very rural. So I grew up right beside my grandfather. He left college to go to World War II, so he never really finished in his degree. But growing up beside him, you know, just as far as in the World War II generation, if things break, you have to fix it. You, you really don't go and buy new things. You really have to do things yourself. So that really gave me my first look at, you know, the technical side of things. And I really needed to get some specific skill to use to make the type of money that I, I would like to make. So uh, I just moved back and I, uh, uh, there was a guy that had went to church with my great uncle. And uh, I, I met him and he just told me about the program. He said it was really, it was flourishing. There was gonna be a lot of jobs opening. So I just went to him and he, he talked me into it. It didn't take much talking, but I, I jumped right into it. So I worked plenty of jobs. I was a mailman, I was a truck driver. I, uh, I worked for the telephone company. But I always felt like that this was where I need to be, just as far as doing something that challenged me a little bit more on the technical side of things. So um, up until just, like I say, I got the internship in January. It's supposed to be a six-month internship, but uh, there was an opening that uh, popped open, and they, they liked me. So after three months, I was hired on full-time. It's never really monotonous. You might do the same, kind of the same process, but it's always new things popping up that you'll have to deal with. So it, it, it doesn't, it never gets stale. It never gets stale. So that, that, it keeps it exciting. It keeps you up. You never get bored. Uh, I think about going into the safety side of uh, just of the chemical processing, or uh, maybe just in, into recruiting, because I, I think more people need to hear about these opportunities. So just to get the word out to different people that might not get the information.